During the fall 2022 semester, students in Dr. Kristen Morris's AM475 product development course were tasked with a semester-long project to create an inclusive capstone collection of five garments that serve the needs of an underrepresented target market. These collections incorporate different cotton performance technologies that are used to enhance the garment features and user experience. From incorporating new innovative technologies to redesigning the current market, these collections seek to answer how clothing can be designed to include and serve all contemporary people. The student's exhibition was titled Wide Open, which appropriately describes the current market for adaptive and inclusive apparel. During the market research portion of the class, the students toured the Avenir Museum of Design and Merchandising to observe a curated collection of archived garments and examine adaptive features and closures throughout fashion history. Students interacted with the garments, took photos, and drew sketches as primary inspiration for their collections. The Avenir has an amazing curation of garments. We were looking at garments with interesting closures and interesting garment construction. Right now we're doing an adaptive collection. I'm focusing on inclusive garments, so I'm trying to make an inclusive collection for male and female genders, and also people who are non-gender identifying. I think that the biggest takeaway for me is, is that a lot of this stuff has already been done. It's just that they weren't necessarily thinking about accessibility when they were creating it, right? So like a lot of like the baseline is there. We haven't put them into something in a way that's actually useful for people who have these different disabilities. So I think it's just taking that and kind of reinventing it. Coming in, seeing the, the pieces that were laid out on the rack, they look like normal, normal stylish pieces, you know, from their respective times, but it wasn't until you know we opened them um, and kind of looked inside of them where we found out um, how they could adapt to anyone. Students were also required to prototype one of their five garments for their collections. The AM475 students worked in the Richardson Design Center Prototyping Lab, where they had access to an array of industry-grade equipment and technology to bring their adaptive prototypes to life. For my project, I'm working on people with autism and sensory processing disorders, more specifically people that try to avoid any type of seams and any type of bulkiness in clothing. Today we just learned about adding adhesive tape to um, you pretty much just eliminate sewing. And sewing is kind of a pain if you, you're there for hours, you know, you gotta run the thread and all that. But with the adhesive tape, you can just put it on any part of the garment, like apply heat to a certain degree, and then um, it'll just stick. It's that easy. In order to better design their adaptive apparel, students participated in a focus group with members of the community who identify as having a disability. This was an immersive event that allowed students to get insights on how clothing can be designed to better serve individuals with disabilities. The students used this information to help design functional garments that put the user's needs first. I think the biggest thing was just focusing on how different every disability or difference could be. I mean, we had those twins come in and it was really unique to hear what they were saying with how, all right, you could be designing for cerebral palsy, but everybody with cerebral palsy has different needs. For my project, I chose to do adaptive apparel that really focuses towards neurological and um, autoimmune differences, so like anything that boils down to like rheumatoid arthritis, multiple sclerosis, anything that affects the mobility or dexterity. And I mean, I really chose to focus on that. My dad has MS, my mom has rheumatoid arthritis, so it's something I've grown up seeing and everything, so it was really nice to be able to choose one that I could actually put into effect. I've seen them go through difficulties, say when my mom is flaring up, she can't even button up a shirt or tie her own shoes for that matter. And my dad, like his one side of his body doesn't work like the other, so he has troubles pulling up pants or doing any other kind of dressing activity. What I want to do, since the grant we're getting is from Cotton Works, I want to use all my products to be cotton, if not mainly cotton. And from there, they're really like explaining and hinting at how they don't like pants that have buttons and things of that such. And with sensory issues, the same thing applies because that button, when you're sitting down, you can really feel it against your body. Creating accessible and adaptive wear matters to me, especially in women's lingerie, because it's an underrated target market that I feel like a lot of consumers want and it's a need for them, but there isn't a market for that, unfortunately. And I think that they would want options. Uh, they're humans just like all of us and they want options to choose from. Obviously, if 
I'm talking from a woman to a woman. Obviously she wants other options to choose from that are like colorful and fun and not just like nude colors. I feel like just because they're in a wheelchair doesn't mean that they're asexual or anything. They still want to have fun just like all of us. Throughout the semester, the students collaborated and presented to their peers to review their collections and receive feedback for each milestone. These milestone presentations were a great way for students to receive feedback on their lines for further development leading up to the final exhibition. Dr. Morris won a grant from Cotton Incorporated. It's called Cotton In Curriculum through Dr. Morris's hard work for getting the grant. She's won the grant for two years and she just found out that she won the grant for next year as well. The grant helps to pay for the students' prototypes. The grant also um, funds the students to be able to win a cash prize at the end, just to give them a little bit of extra motivation to really like work on the innovation. Clothes are something that everyone wears every day. One of the biggest reasons why I chose apparel merchandising is because of that. I was trying to think of something that impacted the world in a way that we don't really realize it. For the wear of garments, it's very important to feel comfortable in your clothes and to feel like you are an individual in your clothes, you know? And so I feel like it's the biggest form of expression. Really making sure people feel good in the clothes that they wear and feel like the clothes represent them too.